we continue our Across Africa report with Ambassador Robert Van Lerp. Is that the correct one? Yes, sir. Yeah, all right. He's former UN ambassador to Vanuatu and a special advisor to the UN General Assembly. Thanks so much for joining us here. Thank you. For so tell us, um, what are some of the, the, the topics that are on the African continent that uh, the mainstream news seems to be missing? Give me, give me your first call on that. Well, they're not exactly missing the Ebola crisis, but they are missing the uh, great impact of that crisis, and they're also missing the missed opportunities to arrest uh, the crisis uh, before it uh, took on uh, momentum of its own. They're also missing the uh, great problems of uh, climate change and water scarcity uh, that uh, plagues uh, much of Africa, as well as economic development issues. Much is made about the transparency or the lack of transparency in African governments. Do, do any of those governments stand out to you as an example of what we would hope the other 53 would uh, exemplify? Oh, I think there are quite a few that are very good examples, not only for the rest of Africa, but for the rest of the world, including for the United States which has its own issues. Uh, <clears throat> I won't bother to name names now because uh, that may offend some of those that I might omit. <laughs> okay. Um, then moving forward, then what do you see in terms of the challenges? I mean, we had Nigeria become both the continent's largest uh, economy in one year and is now watching that economy collapse with the dropping pr price of oil. Um, uh, some words from Secretary of State potential, potential Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton um, labeling the country um, as, as, as the government rather as undesirable. Uh, what are some of the other challenges you see moving forward in 2015? Well, <clears throat> I would not uh, use the, the expression undesirable, undesirable to label the government. She uh, said that the it, government fostered an environment for corruption. That was pretty specific. Well, so what, what other, that's, that's a challenge for Nigeria. What other challenges that other countries face do you see just well, as serious? Nigeria has a very big challenge from uh, the uh, Boko Haram uh, extremists, uh, as well as the difficulty of uh, pulling the country together. Uh, it's a very disparate country. It's a very large country, very, very large population. And uh, it's got many interests. It's very diverse. And uh, as you know, the United States itself is a country that uh, almost 100 years after its birth fought a, a bloody civil war uh, that killed more Americans, I believe, than any other war in our history. And um, we still have some divisions in this country that uh, need to be addressed and need to be healed. We do a good job. Nigeria can do a better job. On the heels of what was described as a successful Africa summit, one of the main themes of that gathering in Washington, D.C. was that the United States is playing catch up to China. China is spending a great deal of resources um, in the country. But one of the uh, one of the prevailing themes in terms of large countries investing in Africa is the, uh, <laughs> is the expulsion or the removal of all of the great natural resources there. Is that a concern to be uh, considered when talking about either China or the United States? Well, China has been a little bit more uh, engaging and more uh, aggressive in pursuing uh, business opportunities uh, in Africa. Uh, but I feel that if the United States really put its mind to it, uh, the United States could achieve a great deal in Africa and for Africans. Uh, after all, the, uh, the American economy is still very, very strong and American know-how and technology is also very strong and people are interested and would welcome uh, more engagement, more investment from the United States as long as it's done on the basis of uh, equality. Ambassador Van Lero, thank you so much for coming and joining thank us you, today. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And you're watching Arise America.